Yo, what's up guys? I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got a new mic, and I just want you guys to like, you know, tell me if it's better or not in the comments, but I'm gonna get straight to it. So my last video, I told you guys if Soul Whip is viable for, in the meta for ghost grinding, and as you can tell, no, because of that patch recently, they can't group up anymore, which is kind of sad. So the only way to do it really efficiently is one tapping them. So, I figured out I finally reached it after, like, all day figuring it out. It's, like, been, like, five hours just figuring this out. And I finally figured it out. This is my exact setup you need to at least do it. So, let's get straight to it. So, I currently have seven starred Crimson Ancient and with Bang 5. Bang 5 just really just adds coins. Um, same goes for my Crimson Ancient 7 starred. 7 starring it is super cheap. I really don't think I'm gonna 10 star it. There's really not a big point to it. You use heavy pearls, and I don't feel like wasting it on that little strength. Necron, pretty good right there. Same with more Necron. I've, I, I know you can, but you can also swap out the boots with, like, Sorrow boots just for like five extra magic fine personally i'm not that much good enough to do it but yeah strength molten bracelet it doesn't matter really about the like stuff there the like lifeline that can help but it's basically a full molten set all strengthened i also have ugh, i also have a giant sword it's pretty good i I'm not exactly sure if Soul Eater still works on Ghost because of Ghosts do magic damage and Soul Eater only works on melee damage or physical damage, whatever you want to call it, I think. I, I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I'm pretty sure it goes like that. But mine is like pretty decent, I guess you want to call it. Uh, but it's my Daedalus Axe. It's pretty bad, but yeah. So I've been grinding just a little bit. You can also use Mana Flux, but personally, I don't find it insanely helpful, or Over Flux, whatever you want to use. So, I also have a level 100 Mithril Golem. Because of that last perk, increases your combat stats by 20%. It's so good. It's so good. I promise you, it will do wonders. And my item is Lucky Clover, mainly just because... Ghost grinding, you need magic find, and I do enough damage as it is, so more magic find equals better now for me. Uh, also, if you care, I, I recommend getting at some point, like, the pet scores, it will really help. And, I already showed you my armor. Uh, I have combat 55, but I think, I'm pretty sure you can do it with combat 50. Forging really not that big of a difference in my opinion but you can do it and if i hold down my giant sword i currently have very very close a thousand and eighty strength and a thousand ninety four crit damage so the thing with doing the most damage you need to get those as close as you can so that's the closest i can get it personally i use the silky reforge which i recommend it's the cheapest and insanely good i tune strength because you know it's just better so what i figured out this is the most tricky part that people like uh, i don't know if i should or not so basically magical power this helps wonders so i was at 500 when i tried this and i was like very close like 30 20k away from one tapping and I just gave it a little more magic power, so it's pretty expensive. What I did was just add these mythics, just make these mythics pretty cheap in my opinion, but also get like maybe a, like upgrade talismans like this one, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think 540, maybe, I'm going to go for 600, but 540 to 600 is the perfect spot to do it. And I'll show you right now that, yeah. But also, the reason why I'm using Crimson, as you can tell, tiered bonus. Every melee, okay, yeah, you guys can read that. But basically, just swipes and does, like, really high damage, if you can do high damage yourself. 
and it's insane. And I know some of you guys are like pretty good or something that played a while ago. You're like, why aren't you just use one piece and then use like a sorrow helmet or something? I mean, okay, you can, but you won't with this. I'm so sorry. The swipe won't work. It only works with one. See, look, it turns gray now. The tiered bonus. I can't really like move my cursor to it, but like if you can see, it says one out of four. It's gray now. It doesn't work. But when you do this, it's on, basically. So, here, let me show you my test. Let me get 10 kills. There's a little proof right there. The only reason why it doesn't one-tap right here is because they're close to the wall. There's a stupid bug that I really hate. And practically every ghost farmer will agree with me um, that uses crimson. Oh, cool, Volta. Is that whenever... Um, they get to the wall, you really can't one-tap them with Crimson. There's a stupid bug that's going on. Oh yeah, and here you go. But, okay, the reason why I'm not one-tapping, they're near the wall, but, yeah. Let me bring this one out. What the? Wait a minute. Okay, I was about to say, wait, what? How did I one-tap? I did... <laughs> okay. This guy, easy. 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 So, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, okay, sometimes it doesn't strike, but that's pretty much what you're doing. So, that's what the swipe does. It adds, like, it's like ferocity, but just a little worse. And if somehow, some way, you can get 100 ferocity, then you don't need crimson. And you'll be perfectly fine. Also, okay, so people, I know people keep saying like oh my god um frick I forgot. mastiff armor with pooch sword is such a good combo with this it's insane okay so it's off it's awful that's all i gotta say first off it makes no money second off it's way farther from a two tap it's like a five tap and third um you kind of need to use OFA if you're that early just to make it slightly efficient and the reason why you shouldn't use 2 at OFA on either way if you're early mid end game is because looting is so good with sorrows I think it's luck too maybe but I'm not sure I forgot what luck does but yeah it's it works wonders with it and scavenger that adds a lot of coins scavenger alone you can make like a mill or two an hour with it's so good it's so easy like there's really no point not to and yeah that's pretty much oh yeah so i actually did this a little bit ago i accidentally sold it before making this video and I i'm kind of broke so i can't really buy it for this video i'm so sorry but just take my word, it, it's really not good at all. I promise you, it's not good. Also, if you're wondering, how is your character small? Sky tills. You have to do this, like, um, uh, this cheat code, whatever you want to call it. Use arrow keys, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, and then A. And then, you just, yeah. I don't know why I put small people but yeah basically that's pretty much it kind of cool if you ask me you know but that's pretty much the entire video i just wanted to clear it up because i know there's like not really a guide on youtube that i can find as i told you guys i spent like five hours finding like figuring out myself finding a video couldn't do it until i recently figured out it's my magical power and i was like okay there's no shot effects at that much but it really does. For me right now, it's like every 10 magical power, it's like 10k damage. I, I'm not exactly sure, but it happened a couple times. So that's what I'm going to go with. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this helped you with anything. If not, I'm sorry that it didn't. Leave any comments down below. <laughs> My god. Leave any comments down below if you guys want me to make another video on ghost grinding or anything that you guys are confused about and I'll try to help you guys 
and get the setup you guys want or something. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and have a good day.